1769, he and his brother were in the first group of white men to travel from Pittsburgh down the Ohio River and then down the Mississippi all the way to New Orleans. He was a Revolutionary War veteran who assisted George Washington at Valley Forge. He was a successful landowner and businessman, and he is the father of a President of the United States, Lieutenant Colonel Richard Taylor. Hey everybody, this is Colonel Carson with Family Tree Nuts, and I'm in front of the courthouse here in Spencer County, Kentucky. We're in the county seat of Taylorsville, which is named for Lieutenant Colonel Richard Taylor. And by the way, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and click that little bell so you get notifications as to when we post new videos. Now, like I said, I'm in Spencer County, and Spencer County is named after Spear Spencer, who was killed at the Battle of Tippecanoe in 1811. Richard Taylor donated 60 acres for a town at the confluence of Bershears Creek and Salt River. He operated a grist mill nearby. Richard Taylor is famous for many other things as well. He was a graduate of the College of William and Mary. And like I said earlier, in 1769, he and his brother Hancock were among the first white men to travel from Pittsburgh down the Ohio, down the Mississippi to New Orleans. They spent a ton of time exploring along the way. His brother Hancock spent the next few years surveying Kentucky. Now, this is before the first official settlements of Harrodsburg and Boonesboro. Hancock was shot by Native Americans near modern-day Carrollton, Kentucky. Daniel Boone was sent into Kentucky to tell all the surveyors to get out because the Shawnee were on the warpath. Even though that Hancock was injured, he tried to make his way back through the Cumberland Gap. But unfortunately, he died in modern-day Madison County, Kentucky, where he's buried today. In 1803, Richard visited his brother's grave with Robert Rhodes of Boonesboro and he marked the grave with some stones and a small headstone. Shortly, the Revolutionary War broke out and Richard began his service as a second lieutenant. But by the end of his service, he had been promoted to lieutenant colonel. He served in the battles of White Plains, Trenton, Brandywine, and Monmouth. He was also involved in the Valley Forge campaign by commandeering supplies for General Washington and his men. Richard Taylor was given and acquired about 8,000 acres in Kentucky and he moved his family to the area in 1785. In 1792 he built his first brick home on land that he had bought from Isaac Shelby, the first governor of Kentucky. And that same year, he served in the Kentucky Militia in a campaign against the Shawnee under Major John Adair. He was wounded in the battle near Fort St. Clair in Ohio. In the late 1790s, Richard built his home called Springfield. Springfield is on the eastern end of the modern day Louisville metro area. This is about the time that he donated land for the town here that bears his name, Taylorsville. Richard died in 1829, and he is buried in the family cemetery that became the Zachary Taylor National Cemetery. The cemetery is named after his son, 
President and Major General Zachary Taylor. The hero of the Mexican War. Old Rough and Ready. So here we are in front of the courthouse of Spencer County in Taylorsville, Kentucky, named for Lieutenant Colonel Richard Taylor. I'm willing to bet that few people in the area know about the man that the town is named for. And at Family Tree Nuts, we're proud to have a little part in keeping his legacy alive. And remember, Family Tree Nuts, let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree.